Another successful parent-teacher conference. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, Miss Trust, I have a question about vertex. <laughs> hey, Dad. Chris. Chris, what are you doing here? It's my free period. Dad, why are you here? Uh, we were just having a parent-teacher conference. <laughs> Again? Yes, yes, we were discussing your performance. Uh, should I come back later or? <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, I was no. just leaving. <laughs> See you around, kiddo. <laughs> Chris. Yeah, I had a question about verb tenses. Um, sí, es subjuntivo. I don't know, this whole situation is weird. Dude, your dad and mistrust at a parent-teacher conference in the middle of the day? And this is happening often. Don't you think they're like... What? Don't you think they're like hooking up? Ew! That would be... I don't want to think about it. Okay, but it would make sense though. I mean, my grades have been pretty good recently, and I haven't exactly been putting as much effort into that class lately. And you may have just answered your own question. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, hold on. I, uh, I need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Hey, look, she's right there. Why don't we go confront her? No, 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 no. I have a better idea. Follow me. Is she waiting for someone? Shh! She might hear us. She's coming somewhere. Shh! Stop. Talk. Hello? Hi, baby. It's good to hear from you again. No, no. I don't think he suspects a thing. I'm looking forward to our date tonight. Sure. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Are you kidding me? I, I gotta go talk to my dad right now. Chris! Oh, hey Chris. Dad, we need to talk. Oh, what about? Uh, were you embarrassed to see me at your school today? You know, Chris, I also once went to school back a long, long, long time ago. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it does have something to do with that, Dad. Are you, are you and my teacher? Am I and your teacher what? Are you two hooking up? What? No, that's ridiculous. I just went there to see her to make sure that your grades were okay. Sure, and uh, how long have you been meeting with her? Chris, I don't like your tone. Don't disrespect me in my own home. Avoiding the question now. Typical. I don't have time for this, okay? I have a, a something later tonight. Yeah, like a date. Yeah, no, yeah. Look, Chris, Chip, go to your room or something, all right? You're annoying me. Fine. <sighs> Sorry. Uh... Sorry. get an answer out of him one way or another. Mm. Mm. That should do it. Hey, Chris, have, have you seen my phone? Did you check the kitchen? Checked everywhere, but uh, I guess I'll look again. Did you check the couch? Look, I'm not stupid. I. Uh, yeah. huh. Well, will you look at that? Who could that be? Hey, babe. Uh, 
Nan, what are you doing here? You asked me to come see you. Come give me a kiss. <coughs> Chris? Oh gosh. What are you doing here? Either of you. Care to explain? Did you... Okay. Chris, I'm dating your teacher. I knew it. This is embarrassing. We can explain. Why would you hide this from me? Is this why all of a sudden my grades are better? Is this why you keep having parent-teacher meetings? Seriously? Putting out to get your son better grades. Disgusting. Chris, don't be ridiculous. Then how did the two of you, of all people, fall in love? Well... It all started with the first parent-teacher conference. I had to meet with your teacher because you were failing your class. So I talked with Miss Trust here and I explained how you weren't taking the divorce well. She mentioned that she went through something similar and one thing led to another. And now we're here. Look. Your father and I started dating, and we discovered we have a lot in common. We both agreed that we weren't going to tell you until well after you were done with high school. Wow, this is... <laughs> this is not cool. Seriously, what is wrong with you two? I'm going to bed. That went poorly. He'll adjust. Chris, I'm dating your teacher. Hey, Miss Trust, I have a question. Chris, you can call me mom now. Listen to your mother. Chris, why aren't you doing your homework? My grades have been pretty good. Your Spanish teacher and I just had a baby. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I need to stop this. Nancy. Yeah? I need to see you in my office. Class starts in two minutes. We have a sub. Come on. What's going on? principal called this morning about her relationship. Yeah. Well, there's no rule specific to teachers dating parents. Chris here has some concerns. Their relationship is making my grade go up. Chris, you went from a C plus to a B minus. That's hardly an improvement. That's still a whole letter grade jump. Personally, I take academic integrity very seriously. Wouldn't you agree, Principal Dallas? I would. However, I really don't want to open up an investigation into this matter. So, Nancy, tell me to my face. Did you increase his grade because of your relationship with his father? No. No. But we did meet during the parent-teachers conferences. And we started dating and I got to know him and with this, I also got to understand better Chris's circumstances. So I may have adjusted my lesson plan to help him succeed. That still sounds like cheating to me. Chris, look, I, I get that you're uncomfortable with me having a relationship with your teacher, but it doesn't mean you have to try to get her fired. How could you move on so soon after mom left? What's that got to do with this? It has everything to do with this. Are you the reason mom left? Is, is mistrust here the reason you and mom got divorced? Or was it another woman? Or is it is it many women? No! That's not what happened. Then what did happen? <sighs> Your mom and I fell out of love and we mutually agreed to leave each other. Honestly, I don't even know where she went. All I know is I got custody of you and she 
left. So forgive me for trying my best to, to move on. I had no idea. Listen, Chris, I know it's not my place to put in, but when my husband divorced me, he also ran away. I never saw him again. I don't know where he is. So when I met your dad, we shared that, that pain. We gotta wrap this up soon. I got a meeting in 10 minutes. So, Nancy, what do you wanna do about this? Fire me. I don't care. I know I will find a job at another school. But what I don't know is if I'm ever going to find another Robert. If you think that's what's best, it has been an honor working with you, Miss Truss. Thank you. Actually, uh, Principal Dallas, I think I have a proposal. Chris. Are you happy with yourself now? I actually came here to apologize. I shouldn't have acted the way that I did. <laughs> and I do want to say sorry for trying to get you fired. Trying? She's already lost her job. Actually, she didn't. Nancy, you can keep your job on one condition, that Chris moves to a different class. Wait, what? That's wonderful. <laughs> now, I gotta get to that meeting. Time for an Irish goodbye. I realized that I shouldn't get in the way of your relationship, but I do need to set boundaries myself. And that's totally fair. We never meant for this to be awkward. Thank you, Chris. I really should have considered your feelings more. I'm, I'm sorry everything had to blow up this way. Dad, you said it yourself. You two didn't want me to know until later. At least now, we can all be open about it. <sighs> let's, let's all turn over a new leaf. Who wants ice cream? I have, I have class. class, so. Right. Yeah.